Welcome to CLI. While these might look like ordinary lampshades made out of used glasses, they are actually platonic solids. These are 3D structures and in nature there exist only 5 of them. And today what we are going to do is learn what these solids are and why there exists only 5. So let's begin. Now let's understand what these platonic solids really are. Platonic solids are 3D structures which will have polygons as faces on each side. And, and to make a 3D structure, you need at least three polygons to be meeting at a point. For instance, if we assume the simplest polygon, which is a triangle, and we have made this using wall tubes and sticks, if we join two of these, we can never make it a closed structure. However, if we join three of them at a point, we have immediately made a closed structure. And this actually is the simplest possible platonic solid, which is also called a tetrahedron. First definition of a platonic solid is that each of the face is a regular polygon. So it has to be either made of all equilateral triangles or all squares or all regular pentagons or all regular hexagons and so on and so forth. Now let's try to understand why there are only five platonic solids. For platonic solids, as we saw, we need to have at least three polygons meeting at a point. The simplest polygon being a triangle. So if we join three triangles, three equilateral triangles meeting at a point, we get this structure and we call this the tetrahedron. Three triangles meeting, three equilateral triangles meeting at all four joints. That's it. Now, instead of three, let's try to join four triangles, equilateral triangles at each point. And then what we get is this structure and we call this an octahedron. And if you see here, there are one, two, three and four. Four equilateral triangles meeting at every single point. That is what is a definition of a platonic solid. Each point, there are four equilateral triangles meeting. Why stop at four? Let's go on to five. And this becomes very magical. This is called an icosahedron where at each point there are five triangles meeting. One, two, three, four and five. And I turn it like this. Again five. Turn it whichever way. Every joint has five triangles meeting and it becomes an icosahedron. A wonderful spherical structure or spherical shaped structure. And why stop at 5? Why not 6? So here I have 6 triangles meeting at a point. 6 equilateral triangles meeting at a point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And see what happens. This becomes a flat plane. No wonder because if this is 60 degrees, 60 degrees times 6 is 360 degrees and that's why it becomes a flat plane. Which basically tells that we cannot make any 3D convex structures which do not bulge out, but they are more spherical and then curve and uh, you know join together to make a closed structure. So when we have six triangles, it becomes flat. And if we have seven, instead of folding like this, it will fold the other way or it will become concave if we have more than six. So that's why with triangles, we can only have three platonic solids. We have seen the platonic solids made by triangles. Let's come to the next bigger polygon, which is a square. Now, of course, we need to join three squares at a point. So if we do this, we get this cube. You have one, two and three. Three squares joining, meeting at each point. Total eight points. And that's why this is called a cube. Now, why stop at three squares? And so if we join four, we have four squares meeting at a point, you can see this becomes a plane. Each of this angle is 90 degrees. 90 times 4 is 360 degrees and it becomes flat like a plane. And so you cannot make any 3D structure with this. 
So you have to stop with square at three squares meeting at a point and that was cube. Now why stop at squares? Let's move on to pentagons and if we join three pentagons at a point we get this beautiful structure it's called the dodecahedron three pentagons meeting at each point one at this point one two and three and if you look at any other point it's exactly the same so now let's have four pentagons meet at each point in a regular pentagon this angle is 108 and so 108 times 4 it will become 432 much more than 360 and which will make it bend backwards and it will become a concave solid. So with pentagon we can only have three pentagons meeting at a point. And now if we have hexagons imagine three hexagons meeting at a point each hexagon the angle is 120 degrees so three hexagons will make it 360 degrees which is again flat as a plane and so it won't make any solid. And so if we move on from 6 hexagon to septagon, it will even become more than 160 degrees. So that is why with polygons, you can have platonic solids made only out of triangles, squares and pentagons.